What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the cheapest way you can watch Angels Baseball. I've been using YouTube TV. Great service by the way. It's got an unlimited DVR. I love the interface. I just love how it works. But they got rid of the most important part to me which is Fox Sports West. That's where the Angels play. And the price went up from like 10 bucks or 15 bucks. I think they went up from 50 to 65 dollars. And I don't think they're stopping anytime too soon. YouTube TV has been, I think they started like at 30 bucks not that long ago, like maybe like a year or so ago, and now they're at 65. Anyways, they don't have the angels. What that means for me is that they are no longer a viable option. So I did a little bit of investigation and around me, look, here's the deal. Most cable companies, when you get to the Fox Sports West tier, like the one that carries that, they're gonna want about a hundred bucks for TV. That's kind of how it is. So now YouTube TV doesn't look that crazy. Now I kind of know why they charge what they charge, but they don't have angels, so that doesn't matter. So traditional cable is charging about a hundred bucks. That's what it's gonna take to get your angels. If you ask me, that's a lot of money. I think people might be better off with one of these two options that I am about to present. Number one, it's probably gonna be the best option for most people because you have many people living in your house and everybody has different interests, right? Which is Hulu TV. Hulu TV is one of the few online TV providers that still carries Angels Baseball. Hulu Live TV costs $55. What does that $55 give you? Let me let you know. Hulu Live TV lets you watch up to 60 channels or 60 plus channels of, you know, most of the mainstream, cool, popular channels. You can check it out for yourself uh, for live TV. And it also comes with cloud DVR, which means basically you can record a show and that show gets uploaded to the cloud, which lets you access it from a different device, right? So let's say you're on your phone and you're like, oh, well, let me add this show that I wanna watch later. So that show gets recorded, it gets uploaded to the cloud. Now, when you get home and you get on your laptop or your computer or whatever, you can watch that show and fast forward the commercials from your computer. It's not relying like on a hard drive or like a physical space. So that's awesome. Hulu Live also gives you access to Hulu Basic, which lets you watch TV shows and movies from their library. However, that is ad supported, so you're gonna be watching commercials when you watch those things. Now, one of the most important details about Hulu TV is that it's gonna let you watch it on up to two screens at a time. That might be enough, it may not be enough for you. So that's just something to keep into consideration. Just to recap, Hulu Live TV, 55 bucks, you get access to over 60 live TV channels, most of the mainstream ones. You do get Angels Baseball, 200 hours of cloud DVR and two screens at a time. Oh, and ad supported movies and shows. 55 bucks a month, I think it's pretty, pretty solid. Now, this second option is what I consider the cheapest way to watch Angels Baseball. This option is a little more not as plug and play, so you might not want to do it. I wouldn't judge you if you didn't want to, but this might be the cheapest way to get your Angels. Now this is a, you gotta do a couple of things. Number one, you gotta get MOB TV and you gotta get a VPN, something like ExpressVPN I hear people using for MOB TV. MOB TV is about 60 bucks a year. ExpressVPN costs $12.99 a month or $9.99 if you wanna lock into six months or $6.67 if you wanna lock into 15 months and I believe three of those months are free. So here's the situation, here's why this works and why you would have to do those type of things. Look. If you don't know what a VPN is, you might be kind of confused. If you don't know what MLB TV is or what it offers, you might be kind of confused. Here's the situation. MLB TV lets you watch any baseball game you want, except for the baseball teams in your own hometown, right? So if you live in LA and you get MLB TV, you can watch any baseball game except for Dodgers and Angels. You might be wondering, what's the point of that? The point of that, supposedly, is if you live out of market, so let's say you live in LA, you love watching your Dodgers, but now you live in Texas. Well, Texas is not gonna get those Dodger games. Now you can watch those Dodger games from Texas with MLB TV. So, how do we get around this? We get around this with a VPN. A VPN basically tricks MLB TV into thinking you're somewhere else. So now I can be like, hey, I am in Texas, even though you're in LA. So, if your device thinks you're in Texas, now MOB thinks you're in Texas, which means you can watch a Dodger game because a VPN makes your device or MOB TV think you're somewhere else. I'm not the most technical guy, but from what I understand, that's kind of what you need to know. 
So MLB TV costs 60 bucks a year. You divide that by 12, that's about five bucks. Let's say you sign up for the most expensive VPN service, uh, the most expensive Express VPN option, that's 13 bucks. So now you're looking at about 18 bucks a month to watch Angel Baseball. Oh, and if you do decide to go about this option of using MLB TV with a VPN, please be aware that I guess there's different servers and different locations that you can say that you're at. So if I'm in Los Angeles and I wanna say I'm in Texas, um, you know, there'll probably be a server there available online. So you can say I'm there. Not all servers will work with MLB TV. So you, I have heard that you do have to call them ExpressVPN and let them know what you're trying to do. Let them know you're trying to watch MLB TV and they'll tell you exactly where to say that you are so that you can watch it. So that's a good, huge pro tip. And I have a huge disclaimer with all this stuff regarding the second option. I've never done it myself. Hey there, it's me from the future and I am happy to report that I have used it and it works great. However, there are some things you should take note of. For example, it wouldn't really work on my iPhone right away, but after a while of retrying and retrying, I got it to work. Uh, I tried it on an Android phone, a Note 10 to be exact, and it didn't work. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to get around it, maybe if I called, but I haven't. And by call, I mean call ExpressVPN to ask, you know, how you do it. But I haven't. Another thing is Chromebooks don't run ExpressVPN. So that's completely out of the equation. And a simple way of getting around it, is even on the Android phone, is to watch MLB TV through the browser instead of the app. So on the iPhone, it'll work on the app and the browser. On the Android phone, it won't work on the app, but it will work on the browser. Uh, it seems to be that the best way to just use this is through a PC. So if you have a PC computer and want to watch your games that way, well, this will probably work perfectly for you. Otherwise, um, yeah, oh, and another random thing that happened was I couldn't log in from my PC laptop. So I don't know if MLB was just noticing too many logins or noticed something fishy, but that's just something to take note of. Also, if you're planning on watching the game on the TV itself, by Chromecasting it from a phone or another device, it won't really work because your Chromecast knows where your Wi-Fi is and it kind of rats you out to MLB TV, so you can't do it that way. There is a way, but it's a little more complicated. I don't know how to do it. I'm sure they would be glad to help you out, but you can get your entire router on the VPN so that the whole router thinks you're somewhere else, but that could complicate things, I'm assuming. I don't know. I haven't tried it. Anyways, back to the video. So I can't like wholeheartedly honestly recommend it because I've never used it. You can do more investigating online. You can see who it's worked for and how it's worked. But um, dude, I just wanted to throw that out there. But I do intend on trying this. So if you're interested to see the logistics of that, like, like what devices work with it? How do I get it to my TV? How do you actually do it? how convenient or not convenient it is. If you're interested in a video like that, kind of going more into detail, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to go about this route, but you're very risk averse and you don't want to do take any risks, ExpressVPN has a 30 day money back guarantee and MOV TV has a three day money back guarantee. So if you wanted to try this, but you wanted to take no risk, you would have to wait till the season starts and then catch a game. And if it works for you, keep it. And if not, Get rid of it, but get rid of it right away so you don't get charged for the full year on MLB TV or ExpressVPN. That about covers it. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, I've got an Amazon link in the description down below. You click on it, you buy something, I get a little percentage of commission off of it, a little something, and it helps the channel out a lot. If not, that's all good. I hope I see you in the next one. Peace.